All right, here's the code explanation for the asteroids. Here is a global variable, score. Here's a global variable for start, where we have a change screens if one one is game. This is a global variable blast, which is used for the laser beams. This is the X and Y positions for the asteroids. We create a global variable, I mean a global array that we use. And here is a global variable for the lives default. It is set equal to zero. This is the con where we actually put an X and Y value into the array for the asteroids. It's just randoms that are rounded. And then here is where we set an object type for the asteroid. It has an X, a Y, and an H that is set on default. And we can call this by this side X, this side Y, and this side of H. Here is an array that we use for an array of objects for the asteroids. And here is where we push the asteroids into the array. There's 100 of them by default, and this is the x, y, which is i times negative 33, which is a little equation we came up with, and 50 is the default. Here's where we create the object type for the spaceship. It has an x and a y on default creation. And this is a method for the spaceship. Uh, it's just a draw method, and it's just a bunch of triangles, rectangles, ellipses, that stuff. Here is the move method for the spaceship, where we have it if the key is pressed and the key code equals left and right. It's going to move to the left and right by four each time. Here is where we create the object type for blast. Uh, if you want to call it, it's a cur x and cur y, and it's different variables so we can recognize them easier. And here is an array that we use for an array of objects for the blast. This is where we shoot the spaceship shoot method, and it is significant because it not only shoots, but it also checks the collisions. So here is where it pushes a new blast that we use. And here's where we check if there's a collision. So it goes through every single asteroid, and it checks the x value to the left, the right, and the y. And here's the score uh, algorithm. We just have it score plus random, and it just rounds it. And it sets the x value is random between 20 and 380, and the y is negative is i times negative 33 when it gets hit. Here is the method for the spaceship check for collision that you select the asteroid. It goes through the x to y checks, and then if it occurs, then it just changes the values again and increases the life, which means you have one less life. Here is where it draws the draw method, just ellipses and fills. Splash screen. Here is the asteroid draw method that we call later on. Here is where we create the object of a spaceship. It is named Alpha, and it starts with 100 and 390. And this is the game function, and this is the draw method and move method that we call. For the entire asteroid's length, we check, we draw it, and then we check for a collision between the spaceship and the asteroid. It runs every few seconds in the draw loop. Here, if, and this is where we increase the speed of the asteroids falling, if the game's still running and the score is less than 200, it's only going to go at 1. If it increases, it's going to be at 2. If it increases even more, it's going to go to 3. This is where, when the asteroids are falling down, y is greater than 450, so down here, it's going to reset the y value, and it's going to decrease the score by 1. This is just the end game screen, and it's a draw where we check, where we set it to splash, and then if start increases at the button press, it's going to go to game. If we want to call it the shoot, we have it as a key press, key release, and key code 0, which equals space, and it'll run the collision check and the shoot method, which is in the same method. And then if we run out of life, so the life is equal to f greater than 3, then it's going to increase start by 1, and then it's going to call the end game screen. And then here is just how we draw the block.